Yeah, so in this decam, it's going to be a little bit different, and I don't want you to be uh, misled into thinking that you should prey on people who are desperate for money. You need to you need to look at it as they need money, I have money, and they have a motorcycle, and I would like it. And we're going to make a deal to for me to give them money and for them to give me a motorcycle, but I want a good deal. When you think about it, their needs are being met, your needs are being met, and nobody's really getting ripped off. Um, and if they're willing to let go of the motorcycle because their demand for something else is higher, then that's the law of economics. So I'm telling you right now, you're not looking for a seller. You're not even going to waste time with a seller who doesn't absolutely need to get rid of his motorcycle to get money. Um, don't even waste your time with somebody who's, gonna, who's not going to budge. If they say that their offer is firm, uh, don't even bother with them because you're not going to full, pay full price for a motorcycle. You're smarter than that, and uh, even though they might have maintained it well, or it's their baby or whatever, you know what? You need somebody that's going to be willing to make a deal with you. You're looking for a desperate seller, and that's what I'm talking about in this one. You're not looking for a bike right now, okay? You're looking, you're shopping for a seller. You want to find the right seller, and honestly, when it comes to good deals, that is, that is what it's all about. You want to try to find people who are scared, they got scared of uh, riding a motorcycle for some reason or another, or they got bored, maybe they're really wealthy and they got bored and they just want to get rid of the thing, or um, they ran out of money or their wife told them that they can't have it anymore, they ran out of money or they wanted to take a trip and they, they realized that they never will, or Maybe they bought a motorcycle thinking all their friends would buy motorcycles and then all their friends bailed out. Uh, and, and so it's just a social thing. They actually have no interest in it other than, oh, I want to go ride with my friends, but my friends don't buy motorcycles. So when you're talking to somebody about selling their motorcycle, this is why it's important to actually ask them why they're going to sell it. Um, if they tell you a sob story, even though it might be sad, you know what? That's an indicator that you're probably going to get a good deal because they need your money. Um, if they tell you that they're going to upgrade their bike, then most likely they're not going to give you a good deal because they'll be on a motorcycle no matter what. So now I'm going to transition into kind of less of a lifestyle situational desperation to a seller's kind of desperation. Um, if they've had their listing up for a long time or if they're not getting enough people, if they're not getting a response on their listing, that's what I'm talking about now. Are there motorcycle listings that are fairly good deals that are uh, that are going on, you know, the listing is lasting maybe, you know, 15, 20 days. You go check that out. And usually listings have uh, counters. How many people have seen this listing? Well, if that counter is kind of low, you know that there's not a lot of interest. And chances are the more desperate the seller is going to be to try to... Uh, to try to get unload that thing, right? Um, and, you know, the less interest that's shown in a motorcycle, the person knows, uh-oh, people aren't showing interest, people aren't calling, oh, maybe I should lower my price. That's an automatic, you know, deal right there. So honestly, prime candidates for the people who you are going to send that super low ball text message to are people who have had their listings up for, you know, 15, 20, 30 days. Um, sometimes listings expire after 30 days, but that's what you want to do. Now here's the reason why you're going to lowball this stuff and why you're not going to take the first offer or why you're not going to, you know, pay what they want you to pay or whatever because that couple hundred dollars that you might save, say you save 50 bucks. Well, 50 bucks isn't that good of a deal, but hey, guess what? You could buy some dirt cheap armor. Um, say you save 100 bucks. Oh, good, there's a pretty good helmet for you. Say you save 200, 300. It just keeps getting better. Um, the more, because there's auxiliary costs to motorcycling, and the more you save on the motorcycle itself, the better deals, well, the better budget you're going to be able to keep when it comes to buying all the other stuff you'll absolutely need to ride a motorcycle and stay safe.